Welcome to Reloading from the Hot Pot. Here, I like to do good gun, gear, and accessory reviews, plus share a little bit about my life. If you're not subscribed, please consider giving a subscribe below, turn the bell notification on, always give a like, and please share. Welcome back my pupils, this is Gene coming to you with Reloading from the Hot Pot. I got something new in today and I want to share it with you. Ms. Hotshot ordered the CV Life scope. She has shot through both of the other scopes that CV Life has sent me and she really likes them. She's really impressed with them at their price and their quality. So she has a new 223 Remington Savage bolt action precision rifle that she Worked very hard for, bought herself. It's in an MDT chassis. It's an excellent, excellent rifle. I haven't done a review of it yet, but I will be doing a review as soon as I get this mounted to it. What she purchased for it is, it is a six to 24 by 50. Now, it was economically priced, but you know, so far, CV Life has really done well. So let's unbox this and take a look at it. After taking it out of the box, this is what it looks like. In the packaging it comes in, it comes in bubble wrap with another wrap over top of it. And there is the scope. So let's go over some features of this scope. Let's take these lens caps off of it. I really like these kinds of lens caps uh, and the flip up ones. I don't care for the rubber ones at all. So I'm really glad it did not come with those. First impression of it, it looks like a really nice scope. It's got a 30 millimeter tube. Like I said, it is six to 24 power. On the magnification ring, it does have this little piece here to make it easier to turn. And it does have an Allen head in it. So once you get it to where you want it, you can lock it down so you don't accidentally bump it. It is illuminated. It has red and green illumination on this dial here. The diopter on it is nice and firm. Magnification is nice and firm. And your front focus for your yardage is nice and firm. And it does go down all the way to 10 yards and then all the way back up through 10, 15, 20, 30, 50, 75, 100, 150, and infinity. And that is really nice and firm too. I've been really, really impressed with it. She opted for the one with the blue glass you can see that tin or not. It is threaded in here if you would want to put a, a sun shield on it. Did not come with a sun shield, but it is threaded for one. It says nitrogen gas port there. Let's take these off here. Let's see how these are. Can, are they tactile? Can you hear them? They're a little spongy in there, but they are tactile and they do stay where you put them. See if this here. You cannot return these back to zero. You cannot take these off and take it back to zero. That is one downside of having an economical scope like this. But on the upside, yeah, they're not lockable at all, but you do have the caps for them. On the upside, it's really, really nice. This is an eighth of an MOA at 100 yards with one click. So that is really precise adjustment. She's only looking to shoot out between four and 600 yards. And you know, we, we do live on a budget. And like I said, she has been impressed with the other scopes. So she thought she would give this a try. So I'm gonna set my camera up and see if I can get you that reticle in there because the reticle, it's, it's a nice average reticle. I'll get out some more information on it here and uh, read you some specs. The weight on this scope is only 22.22 ounces. So it's not really heavy. It fits standard 20 millimeter standard rail mounts. It is 15.72 inches long and 1.97 inches high. The scope did come with mounting rings. I have not looked at these mounting rings yet. I'm gonna get them out of here. And they're singles, single screw on each side. So two screws, uh, probably gonna need a little better bit of a better mounting ring for these. Um, I prefer no less than two screws per side with a flat top, but 
they did come with it. They got a little piece of a little rubber in there on the top and bottom of it. There you can see inside there. A little piece of rubber right there to grip it, which that's nice. Just single screw mount. Um, like I said, but for being on a budget, it did come with an Allen wrench and it came with two CR2032 batteries. This is the reticle in it. I was really impressed seeing that reticle in there. Um, I've never used a reticle like that on a scope, but I'm sure it will be fine. I'm going to try to turn some illumination on here and see if we can get that to come in. This is with the red illumination turned on to five. So it goes from one to one to five. So five is going to be the brightest. Now I'm going to do the green. And this is the green illumination on the reticle. I really like this. It's really nice. That is on high. That is five. Uh, it only goes from one to five on the red and the green. But I think that'll be plenty. I'd like to thank Miss Hotshot for letting me do a review of this new scope she's got. She's not really into doing these kinds of reviews on things like this. She has them, she uses them, but she's just not interested in doing reviews on her channel about this stuff, so she leaves it up to me. Hopefully this will be a winner just like the other two that I have are. This is first focal plane. Uh, the other two that I have are second focal plane, but they are um, LPVOs. They're not long distance magnification. So we're going to actually take this to dead zero with us. She's going to take her 223 bolt action and uh, see what she can do. And we're going to play with it before we go out, get it all sided in for her and everything. And we'll just take it from there. And we'll probably do a video at the range itself and see uh, how she likes it shooting some long distance with it. All right, my pupils, that's all I got for you today. This new CV Life 6 to 24 by 50 A O E G A O A O E G A O E G A O E G. Okay, yeah, <laughs> just having some fun with it. All right, everybody, I greatly appreciate you. And always remember to keep blowing that smoke.